Okie dokie. Well, morning, everybody. Well, I had finished up my stream here about uh, 15, 20 minutes ago. And um, I'm kind of half asleep right now, so I kind of need to lay down for a nap. Um, but uh, I did want to go ahead and uh, do this video real quick. But uh, before I continue, um, like usual, I'm going to have some music running in the background. This is going to be um, going to be Heaven, their Proxima album. So let me go ahead and get that fired up. Okay, so just wanted to showcase this new team that I got recently. Um, yeah. yeah, it's my new uh, it's my new sprinkle tinkle team. Originally, I was gonna call it piss yellow, but I. Uh, I think it would have been, um, just might have been right, so I went with Sprinkle Tinkle instead. So, um, and the, this is one of those teams where it's also my journey team. So, uh, I think I might have, It's coming in pretty loud from my end. Yeah, let me turn that down a little bit. Okay, so, anyway. But yeah, let me show this real quick. Um, Agris, he's a journey troop. And he kind of like uh, Chalcedony. Um, Red Dragon to Troop, I can't remember his name. Um, the, I don't know, the purple girl, the, the elven bow chick. But... But yeah, this guy does the same thing. He loops. Looks like he creates a bunch of yellow gems, boosts my Strix allies. And then um, we got... We got probably uh, one of the best weapons in the whole game. Um, I'll kind of demonstrate this later on, but uh, it eliminates all armor from an enemy. And then, and then deals damage to him on top of it. And then yanks him up to first position, and as you can see on the right, just a moment, it also entangles the guy. And on, and on top of that, you also get an extra turn. So, again, one of the best weapons in the entire game, if you manage to get it. I guess, here, let me uh, talk about the other two. Uh, this is Finesse. The big one here is... Uh, Every time you match four or more gems, everybody gets a uh, plus four on all their skills. Also deals damage to an enemy and an additional random enemy. And if he uses double mana, I'll, if I can remember to, I'll demonstrate this. And if you have a storm up and I'm using the storm caller, so he's always going to have a light storm up, give six mana to all their allies. So. Storm Soul, Light Storm on Return. You're also dealing two damage to a random enemy, but the, considering the high, the high tier content that I do with monsters that already have a lot of, a lot of life and uh, a lot of life and armor, this doesn't really help that much. So you have purification, mana. And this is the big one here, uh, Lightning Strike. Um, but I, I know I went through it. Other people that are trying to level up the Storm Caller probably went through it here, or went through it as well. It until you get level 70, it's gonna be a freaking slog. So yeah. But let me go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and take this team out for a walk. And then, um, like I, like I said a few moments ago about Finesse, if you could, um, I think White Helm, yeah, double yellow, presumably that means that a good chunk of these, uh, troops are gonna be yellow. Or maybe not. Oh, yeah. Now 
not so much. And then, in the actual battle here, you actually want to prioritize blue. You want to leave as many yellow gems on the board as possible. Um, just like the other journey troops that also loop, um, I'd say the same thing. You want as many of insert appropriate color here on the board as possible. And, yeah. Oh, that actually helps. Thanks, hon. Start stripping the armor off all of them. drawback. If you can't get a four match out of any ball, out of all those, you're kind of host. Okay, maybe I might have been wrong about this. I would have thought since um, this place has a double yellow, We've seen a lot of yellow truth, but it seems I was wrong. So, let me try out. I did play this a little bit in Divinion Fields. A fair amount of yellows here. And then, um... Let me show this real quick. Just like my Men in Tights team that I showed a long time ago, All of your guys are gaining extra uh, extra life and magic, etc. Meaning they're dealing extra damage with every four match. And this is why getting a uh, level 70 in Stormcaller is important. Any kind of four match will trigger it. When it comes to when it comes to rope darting, I typically just go after the guy on the bottom. Um, there might um there might be certain troops. Um, Silent Sentinel first comes to mind. Uh, she's a tank. She can um she causes silence whenever you hit her with skull damage. So, uh, something like that. I need to get her off the top position as quickly as possible. So yeah, you would. You would want to target somebody specifically to get up, to get them up above her. So. And there we are. So 
like I said, just like just like the uh, Green Men and Tights team that I have, um, four matches are actually uh, increasing their stats. So definitely an awesome journey team here. I'm uh, I'm also gonna try to I'm also gonna uh, do a PVP run or two. Um, not as effective, but um. It, it is doable, though. enough. Yep. So, there you are. Okay, so let's, let's try it out. Let's try it out in some PvP. Now, again, you're not going to be able to use this for just about any battle. Um, usually, usually I just go for the uh, lowest level ones. Uh, yeah, elementalists, you always avoid those. Um, Oracle? Maybe. Uh, yeah, wasn't that. So. And before I continue, a little bit something. Okay, just making sure there's no uh, Frozen in here. Because uh, Frozen will pretty much shut this team down. Skull damage, so I'll just go ahead and get rid of the entangled one. Yep, guess that was enough. So, pull that one off. But again, um, you can't use this team in all scenarios. Could be a problem if um if Egress gets webbed. You're doing very little damage. We'll give it a go anyway. at the last moment.
bottom troop is stealthy, so... Still? No, did it. So, up, oh, 87. So let's try one more. We'll go ahead and do an easier one here. Yeah, and, and something like this. Okay, maybe not. See, if there was a, if there was anybody on the top that was like, say, immune to entangle or impervious, yeah, you'll definitely want to use rope dart. Grab somebody else down here at the bottom, yank him up, so you can get him entangled. Okay, rope dart's up. Okay, yeah, um, again, um, just merely being frozen can pretty much, can, uh, shut this team down, so, yeah, definitely want to steer clear of that, and then, to say nothing about Essence of Evil. Alrighty, well, um, that's, that's gonna do it for me, I just wanted to do a little demo on that new, on this new team, so... So let me get. So I'm gonna set to uh, getting this video all processed and uploaded and all that good stuff. So, but thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.